All right, here with past commissioner of the Indiana High School Bowling, Steve Kunkel. And, Steve, welcome back to the All-State Tournament here in Kokomo today. And uh, I know uh, it's got to be thrilling for you to come back to see all the kids participate in something that you've had a big hand in creating and growing every year. How is it to come back and uh, be a part of another great event here for Indiana High School Bowling? I say it laughingly, but it is true. I had a lady here just ask me for something. I said, not me today. I can just point at you. you got to ask somebody else. <laughs> I can just come and enjoy today, which this event, since we started it, has always been uh, It's competitive, but it's not you know, blood and guts like it is in the tournament. That the kids come out here and they bowl well, they enjoy, they bowl poor, but still they enjoy the, the trip here and, and the recognition. So this is a, a very nice event. Well, now that you've given the reins to uh, the program to Brian Petrie, what are you doing now in your, I guess what we would say, your retirement? I really can't say that we've done much. <laughs> <laughs> the only thing that I can say is that uh, we do what we want, when we want, and if we don't get it done, there's always tomorrow. <laughs> we um, travel a bit. we got three grandnieces that play a lot of softball, basketball, so we get to see them. And then, of course, my family, grandkids, uh, great-grandkids now, get a chance to see them more than what I did. Uh, keeping busy, I always say that when you retire, uh, you're busier than when you was working, and somehow that seems true. Um, we did move into a different condo, so a lot of painting and, and getting that ready to settle into. But yeah, nothing that I'm doing. <laughs> <laughs> well, bowling has been such a big part of your life, a former proprietor and obviously a former commissioner. How, how important has the game been to you from a personal standpoint? Um, my wife has said numerous times for years that, I didn't get this job or didn't do this job for the pay. Um, it was a passion. And, and just, I guess, the last several years when I felt that passion is pulling away, it's time to stop, step back and let somebody else take over. I know talk with Bobby Cox, the ISHA commissioner. Um, he said basically the same thing. You'll know when it's time. And so just, you know, things work together. Um, COVID. Uh, my mother, Cindy's mother, passing away. It just felt like the right time. I had told Scott Devers and, and the IBCA crew that I was going to do it forever, which as long as I'm alive, you know, it's something that I enjoy. It's, it's not a job most of the time. It's something I enjoy. But I say everything come together, the stars aligned, and it's time to step back and let somebody else do it. So I guess the fruits of your labor is the growth of the program and the sport of bowling within the high school uh, ranks. How rewarding is it to come back a year later and seeing all these kids participate? I know there was a limited number of, of bowlers today that were eligible, and it looks like 80 or 90 percent of those kids are here today. How, how, how fulfilling is that for you to see a large turnout like this? Uh, very, very much so. As I walk through here, as I look through the list, a lot of these kids, uh, I at least remember the names. If I don't remember the faces that, you know, from the three years or the, that I was with them. But uh, bowling, you know, take bowling itself, aside from high school bowling, has been a passion, obviously. Uh, I always thought we should have high school bowling, and that came to be, I think, and did think that still ISHA should be a goal that we should achieving it for me anything that that i failed at that we didn't get to isha and in my term as commissioner and i just think that that would put a stamp on as a a full-fledged sport in the state uh, i know you ask any of these kids that competed in the tournament were state champions competed at the state level got on tv with you guys got to get the awards it was a state championship and i think that by all means that it would be but still just that stamp and maybe gaining uh, some recognition outside of bowling, you know, in their schools, in their community, it would be good to get ISHA. But still, to see these guys come out and, you, you know, as they get their award today, the smiles on their faces, mom and dad sitting back there, puff chest, and really proud of it. it this, like I said, this is one of the greatest events. Well, I know right before 
the uh, tournament began, before qualifying began. You have the uh, awards of the Steve Kunkel Scholarship Award. And how, how cool is that, that your, I should say, those that have been with you since the beginning, a lot of these, I know Brian Petrie hasn't, but how, how do you feel of having an award or a scholarship named after you? It kind of tells you just the impact that you've had on this program and, and, and on your peers as well. It is something that I never guessed, never imagined. Uh, I think if you ask most people, you watch me, I'm, I'm okay sitting in the back room up against the back wall. I'm not out there blowing my horn or thumping my chest and wanting the attention. Uh, but for them to honor me that way and something that will be continually, you know, just makes me very proud and uh, just appreciate the fact that they saw me for what it was. It, you know, I wasn't just getting my paycheck and then, then checking out the door. That I was here because the parents, the kids, I just I just love the sport, loving the, the program. Well, I know, you know, <clears throat> Savage Bowling TV owes you a lot, too. Uh, you kind of went out on a limb with us several years ago to allow us to broadcast the Indiana High School State Finals. And we greatly appreciate your willingness to give us a shot and, and it's one of the great events that we do every year and we love doing all the high school stuff the parents love obviously seeing able to being able to watch their kids bowl on television potentially so we want to thank you for all of the the hard work and the effort to to make these things possible not only for us but also every child that wants to partake in in bowling as a high school sport so uh we thank you for all your time and appreciate you coming and talking with us for a little bit. I, I think, or at least I hope, that it's been good for both sides. Uh, I know promoting the program, the, the coaches get a little bit out of balance, the kids get out of balance, the proprietor, you know, the school, whatever it might be, it's going to be the best program if we're all working together. And so I'll say the same thing with Savage Bowling, that you've worked with us, we've worked well, and I think it's been good for both of us. Well, Thank we you. hope you enjoy, continue to enjoy your retirement. Are you going to play any golf this summer, or are you, are you a golfer? Never have in my life, <laughs> but a brother-in-law gave me a set of golf clubs. Uh-oh, there you so, go. You might, maybe. You might see this guy in a golf course sometime soon. Steve, appreciate your time. Take care. Thanks. All right, Steve Kunkel, everyone.